All right, you guys, today we're gonna check out how to make some Memphis patterns on 3D here in Illustrator. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a rectangle and I'm gonna create a line, something like this. And I'm gonna create a new copy and just rotate them however you want. Create another one, press and hold Alt and copy it. After this, I'm gonna go to Object. Let's go to Repeat and select the grid. And I'm gonna expand it from this handle and also downwards. And I want to mix it up these patterns a little bit better. So I'm gonna go here to the menu and I'm gonna go with brick by row. Let's see what happens. Okay, I kinda like it, but I still don't like these empty spaces. So I'm gonna double click on one of these lines. I'm gonna click here somewhere on the white and select one of these rectangles. And this way you can customize it even better. And now we're gonna add a background. So I'm gonna select the rectangle and I'm gonna go here where they intersect and just pull it. There you go. Recolor it however you like. Right click on the rectangle, go to arrange, send it back, select both, right click, group. Great, now I'm gonna make another one. Now I'm gonna go with the rectangle again, just create a rectangle, select the direct selection tool, select the top two anchor points here and just drag it like this. Let's go to objects again, repeat again, grid, and we're gonna connect these. I'm gonna bring it up and I'm gonna go to the settings again, brick by row, this handle, and now I'm gonna bring this in. There you go. This pattern is actually pretty cool. Add a background color, Arrange sent to back and we got a new pattern. And let's go with a rectangle. I'm gonna make a line like this. This is gonna be pretty easy. Press and hold Alt, drag it down, press Ctrl D a lot of times. Duplicate, I'm gonna stretch it a little bit more. Right click, group. Now let's go to the object, envelope distort, make with mesh. I'm gonna go with the rows four, columns four, click OK, select the direct selection tool, and let's go and select one of these anchor points here and just distort it however you like. Wow. All right, let's uncheck it, select it, go to object, expand, click OK. And the last pattern, I made it in Photoshop. If you wanna check out, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. I'm gonna copy paste this into Illustrator, press Ctrl A, Control C. Let's go to Illustrator and press Control V. Now the problem with this image is that it's a bitmap. So we're gonna trace this, select it, and we're gonna go to the image trace, click on it, select default, click on the settings here, go to advance, and let's go down to this box, click on ignore color. And this is gonna remove the background, not but least, click on expand, and now we got it in vector shape. And here you can see the four patterns available. Now all I need to do is make a letter, select the type tool, I'm gonna type in the letter E, I'm gonna go with the no hey me bold. It's a free Behance font, I can leave a link in the description. From here, let's go to the 3D and materials, click on inflate, and now let's bring in the patterns. And all you need to do is just drag and drop the pattern into the 3D and materials one by one. And you can see they all showed up right here. Now let's select the letter E that we created, select one of the patterns, and it's going to position itself automatically right here. You can move it around, you can scale it, and you also can rotate it. I'm gonna go like this. Now I'm gonna go and click on the next pattern and position it somewhere else. Let's go on the next one. And for example, let's say I want to position this yellow one under the red pattern. So what you can do is go here to the properties and drag the yellow pattern under the red pattern right here. Great. And now I'm gonna select the last one, the blue, scale it up and position it. And the main point is you can add as many patterns as you like. Now I'm gonna scroll down, decrease the roughness, activate the ray tracing, go to lights, Scroll down, activate the shadow, scroll up, and I'm gonna recustomize the shadow so it's gonna be smaller. And there you go. This is how I make a Memphis pattern on 3D here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.